Okay, so after that, there was a situation with you in 2006 where you were uh, hanging out next to your Lamborghini. Three guys approached you and tried yeah. to rob you. Uh, the rumor was it that these guys were linked to Fabulous's crew. Right. Any truth in that? No. No. No truth. Fab, Fab is my bro. Man. Right. Yeah, he he got a bad rap for that, man. It's, it's, yeah, it's funny. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, what happened was it was a guy out of the... Um, it was out of the same housing project, Brevoort, that he's from. Aha. Uh-huh. It was from the neighborhood. So they figured out at this time on the come up, Fab is the biggest one coming out of Brevoort. He's the, you know he's the street guy. So they figured anything coming out of Brevoort that happens is connected Fab. to him. Connected right. To Fab. So yeah, because we interviewed Plaxico uh, Burris recently. Yeah. And uh, there was a story. There was like a rumor that a bunch of uh, newspapers had written that like the reason why Plaxico had a gun on him was because rappers were getting robbed by Fabulous's crew and, and so forth. And when we asked him about that, he said, I n- I've never said that. I saw the video of Fab saying that you said that. And I was like, when did he no, say that? Like, I, don't, I don't even know my <laughs> man or anybody that affiliated with him. So whatever stories or whatever was made up, it had nothing to do with me. Or anything because. So we could clear the air. It's never about Fab's uh, people going around getting athletes or whatever. It had nothing to do. I mean, we, I was going out, hanging out all the time in New York City. That was never. On your mind? No. You're right. right. So, like, the media was running with this whole fabulous is out robbing rappers right at the time, story. I mean, at the time, it was a lot of robberies and things being made, you know, from. Uh, from people out of the brief voice section, you know, the, them, them the homies and all that, you know what I mean? So, of course, they're going to link Fab right to it because he's the biggest one, the biggest name that's coming out of that city, you know, come out of that, you know, that town right there, them projects, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He got the most movement and he didn't, and he the biggest one. So, they said, oh, Fab, 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 Fab. But I know who it was. We got to the, we got to the bottom of that. But, you know, people always say it was Fab, but nah, it, Fab had nothing, Fab had nothing to do with that. Well, these guys pulled up on your Lamborghini yeah. they, in a van, in a yeah. minivan. They pulled out a gun yeah. and told you to, to run your shit, yeah. your jewelry and everything. Yeah. Uh, Damn. <laughs> they I shot? Mean, any, anybody that know me know that that that, that don't, it's not going to happen. Bro, run up on Zap and say, take what off? Take who off? Where you take away off at? Really? Nah. If I someone pull a pistol on your face, you're not going to give them the jewelry. Not, it's cause we ain't, we ain't you could have all my shit, let me tell I, you. Yeah, Whoever's listening, you stick a pistol in my face, all my shit's insured. That's I'm gonna get it all back. That's the difference. That's the difference in me and you. Vlad that's cool. and Zab. That's you cool. Vlad and Zab different. I can live with Vlad that. Vlad and Zab is yeah, different. Right. You know that's what I'm right. saying? Like we ain't having it. I mean, like, unfortunately, with you know, with the goodness and, and, and the graces of God, I don't have them situations. I don't. I don't have them problems. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I give out what I expect back. Did they actually shoot at you or just pull nah, out pistol? Nah, nah. So what happened was. It, I was coming out the nightclub. I had two young ladies with me. I was in my Lamborghini, and um, I was going to the car, and you know, you know, we, you know, we was drinking and partying like that. So boom, I'm going to the car. The, the the van pulled up. The door slides open. He's like, "Yo, put your shit." I'm like, "What?" So I'm talking. I'm talking to the van, not knowing somebody else that was with them had already was out the car. So I'm like, "What? What? What?" He the dude walked up in the back of me. And put the I'm like, "Oh shit!" Like, "Oh, he like, yo, don't move." I'm like, "Oh shit!" Like. Like work, so I'm like, all right. So I mean, you gotta remember, at this time I'm champ. You know, I'm, I'm a black belt, shoulder country just so I'm champ of the world. I'm in top shape, like I'm a full fledged athlete right now. You know what I'm saying? Now I see the now I see the blickies out. I'm I'm straight sober up. I'm back on my Brownsville mentality now. So boom, so I'm like, he like put your hands up. So the dude over here with the door open, he's doing the talking. The dude behind me, he's like just he's taking notice. So you know what I'm saying? And I can. I figured that shit out in, in this three little seconds, five seconds that this shit transpired. So I could, so I could, you know what I'm saying. So I'm looking, and I, and through the corner of my eye, I can see the guy behind me. He keep looking like, like he can't really see the guy because I'm right there. So he trying to look around me to see what the guy telling him to do. So I see that. So I keep putting my head over like this, so I'm like this to block his vision. So when I see him reach like that, I just go boom, like that. I hit it and boom, the gun flew that way. He backed up and looked at me like, oh shit. So the gun was closer to me. In the van, they looking. I ran, I grabbed the gun. They looked in the van, they're like, oh shit, slam the door. I, I had the blicky. Matter of fact, I threw the blicky down, ran the homie, boom, 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 boom. Oh, Try you knock, actually, knock oh, you straight, actually beat knock, up the dude. Knocked okay. him straight out. Listen, this is, this is real shit. Yeah. Police verification. Knocked the dude out, 
grab the gun, open my lamb up, jump in the lamb, run the run run the van down. I'm ch- now we on the street. We running through the street. I'm chasing the van up a one way, down one way. It's a zab dude chasing a minivan. They <laughs> We, we, we go through the street. In a Lamborghini. Like, yo, in a Lamborghini. Bro, yellow Lamborghini. Yellow Lamborghini. Yellow. <laughs> going through Manhattan. It's like, a, this is on like 10th Avenue and like 27th. She has the, when 27th on, I would pop it. We racing through the street. I won ways and all type of shit, but it's like, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? We going, boom. They got a control, crash, run right into a tree. Boom. Hit the car. They fall out. I jump out my lamb. I got Day Blicky. This is Day Blicky. I jump out, I got Dave Blake, everyone to the car, I'm like, oh yeah, motherfucker, get the fuck out. A, a car pull up, it was, um, it was a, um. Homeland Security. Homeland Security, and yeah. I'm on my car. He jump out, throw his, I'm like, yo, what the fuck, and he shot to rob me, yo. He like, yo, fucking move, I'm like, yo. I threw the gun, I'm like, yo, this motherfucker just trying to rob me, like, yeah. So he like, so he looking at me, because he recognized me, he like, the fuck is that doing, like, you know what I'm saying? So he like, yo, back up. I'm like, yo, I'm going fuck. They in the car, they out. They they you remember they crash in the car, so they they all they fucked, they bleeding and shit. They you know they gotta lean on the thing. I, I'm like, yo, they try to rob me, yo. I ran these motherfuckers down. Ah. So the cop like, all right, back up. He go to the car, you know what I'm saying? Dude was on the dashboard, fucked up. He called us back up. They came. Long story short, they get locked up. I go, I go down to the precinct and we look again. It's a thing in the incident where it says Zab Judah is on the no snitching. Well, he was with the no snitching. It's the thing of that. They was mad because I didn't want to talk and say who these, you know what I'm saying? No, I didn't want to press charges. I didn't want to press charges and go through with a full investigation about what happened. Because I was like, no, 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 just give me their names. You know, give me their names and the addresses of where they at, and I, I handle this shit myself. At this wait, time, wait, 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 wait. Facts. <laughs> you, you talking like this is a normal situation. Yeah, yeah. You told the police, I'm not going to press charges. I, I just want charges. their, na- I want their it's, names it's and addresses. Sta- <laughs> it's a statement in the news okay. where you can find it zabs you right. no, with no snitching code. It's with the same incident. They was mad. The the police was mad because I didn't want to. I didn't want to give up no information to come down and, and you know tell like Zab Judah pressing charges. These guys try to rob me. Ah, uh-uh. you know like, they want me. To, I'm like, I don't do that shit. I'm not. Yo, dude, give me their name. Give me where they from. And and and, and I got it. We right. lit. You right. know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, can I can I just just say I hold, we at, at these times I, we held court in the street. I understand, you know what I'm but. But you're you're a professional boxer. You're not a that. full-time gangster. I, no, it wasn't about being a gangster. I, I understand the environment being, you came it was from. About, it was about being a man with principles. That's okay. what it's about. It's about having principles and, st- and dignity and standing up and living by something. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's, just, that's just who I am and, and who, I, who I've who i always been. So these guys just, since you didn't press charges, they didn't get locked up for they anything? Got, yeah, they got, they got booked. I don't, I don't know what happened to them. I mean, in New York, in New York State. You don't press charge. I guess they hold you for a little while. And like I said, I never press charge. I never went through with the case. I never, I never went through with nothing. We figured out who was who, and you know, what I'm saying a situation was dealt with. So you find out who it was, huh? You find out who of those course, guys yeah. were. Yeah, they got paperwork. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they got locked up. <laughs> we everybody knew who they was. Did you ever run into these guys again, or did you ever have a conversation with yeah, them? Yeah, we had, we we had, we had a nice conversation. Oh, we, so you guys yeah. worked it out? Yeah. Some something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my guy. Like, yeah, it was. Everything was. It was. A, it was. A, it was a cool understanding. It was a cool understanding. Was a cool understanding. All right, right we'll, we'll just saying? leave it at that. Yeah, we leave it at that. It was a cool understanding. It was a cool you know understanding. It was just, you know, like you know, like I said, it was a cool understanding for a misunderstanding. Okay. Because you know, what I'm saying at the time, you know, long story short, it was like it wasn't. It wasn't about Jews. That we just seen somebody coming out looking looking like food. Like you was. I was. Yeah. I, was I was icy. Yellow lamb. Like oh, who that food? Pull up. We don't care. It's it's a Brooklyn code. Like they see it, no matter where they at, you gonna get booked. Like yeah. <laughs> that's just Brooklyn for you.